In this video, I'll be going through Work Together Problem 14-1 on Preparing Operating Activities section of the Statement of Cash Flows. So this is from your textbook, page 410. And that textbook is the Century 21 Accounting Advanced Edition 11 by Gilbertson and Lehman. So credit to them for this text and this problem. Okay, so we have a comparative balance sheet over here and we have the income statement in 20, we'll call it 2022, indicates that net income was $5,080. Depreciation expense, $13,650. So that's really what we need to do these line items. So we'll just do this little table together current year accounts receivable. So you can just click equals, click on this number for the current year. Okay. And it suggested to us that supplies was 3000 merchandise inventory was 49,000. Those two are correct, but this notes payable would not be. So we're not going to use the autofill for those, but you can use it twice. Okay. And because 2021, the prior year, is one spot over, you can go ahead and autofill this direction. Oop, undo. You can autofill over as well. So that gets us the correct amounts from here. Yes. All right. So notes payable equals, and let's find notes payable down here. And then we can say accounts payable is right below it. Sales tax payable is right below that. So you can go ahead and autofill that formula down. And then all three, I'm having a heck of a time going over. There we go. So that is finished. So these first three, was it a current asset or a current liability? These first three were all from our assets section, right? So current asset current asset. These payables tell us that there are liabilities. We should know that even if we didn't know that they came right here. So we'll fill those in. Was it an increase or a decrease? Let's figure that out by current year equals the current year minus the prior year. And we'll go ahead and use that autofill. That one worked out. Okay, so if it is a decrease in an asset, that is a source of cash. Okay, and so an increase in an asset would be a use of cash. With merchandise inventory, we can see that it was an increase of that. 3000 so therefore it's going to be use of cash. And really what you need to remember when you're figuring out source or use of cash, and this is important, is you have to think about what happened. So if accounts receivable was less at the end of the year than it was at the beginning of the year, then that would mean that cash received from sales was more than the amount reported on the income statement, so therefore it was a source of cash. Um, on the inverse, I guess you have supplies and merchandise inventory. Both of those were an increase over the beginning of the year balance. So that would mean that they used more cash throughout the year to build up that balance. So for these next three, we're looking at current liabilities. And our book tells us that a decrease in a current liability represents a use of cash and is subtracted from net income. And the reason for that is if the liability is going up, we haven't paid it yet. But if it's, if the balance goes down, then we paid more than what we um, had on the books essentially. So this increase in liabilities source of cash because we haven't paid as much of them off. Same thing on the second one on accounts payable, but sales tax payable is a decrease amount, so that's going to be a use of cash. And just note that it's opposite, right? In assets, 
Increase is a use of cash. In liabilities, an increase is a source of cash. Opposite sides of the balance sheet, opposite sides of your general accounting equation, also opposite when it comes to the cash flows. So now we're on to part two. Prepare the operating activity section of the statement of cash flows for the current year using the indirect method, which is the most common. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my tab, which you can't really see up here, but I'm just going to right click on it and duplicate it so that I can have it open in two separate spots. I think it's going to make it just a little easier. Okay. So now I've kind of got my two tabs situated in the way that I want them. So I'll start over here on my statement of cash flows. Again, the second tab on this workbook and I need my heading cash flows from operating activities. Okay. So the first number I need to start with, I'm going to end it just a little and go net income. And I believe our book told us what the net income was. Yes, it says right here, it's 5,080. So that's going to go in your middle column. Okay. The next one, now we'll do all of our adjustments to net income. And remember, this is the way we do it with the indirect method. So we're going to have a few. We can see... Um, the first one is depreciation expense, which our book gave us here in the problem. Okay, and that one is the 13650. We also have some changes in current assets and liabilities. Those are listed, right? We have all of these assets and liabilities that changed. So then we'll call them either a decrease or an increase in whatever it is. So our first one is a decrease in accounts receivable, right? So we have a decrease in accounts receivable and that is $2,500. Our next one will be an increase in supplies. In the amount of 250, except for we should probably do this. Okay, so the 2500 is going to be positive decrease in accounts receivable. An increase in supplies is a use of cash. So that one, we should probably go ahead and make that a negative number here. Okay. The third one is an increase in merchandise inventory. And that's another use of cash. So let's go minus $3,000. Okay. An increase in um, notes payable is our fourth. And an increase in notes payable is a source of cash, so that one's a positive. 1,000. Anytime it's a source, it's positive. Anytime it's a use, we're going to subtract it here. And we have another source of cash with an increase in accounts payable. And that amount is also 1,000. And then we have sales tax payable. It's a decrease in sales tax payable and minus 100. Okay, so total adjustments to net income will come next, and we'll just indent that just a little further. And we'll just do a sum function. And we will 
add all of these together, $14,800. So our cash provided by operating activities is, we'll go one more spot over, add the net income to that amount, 19,880. Okay, so that is the end of 14.1 because remember this is just the operating activities section, right? So in these same workbooks, I'll go ahead and do 14-2 with you, but in a second video.